The pathological process is leading to persistence and destructiveness of synovitis. Undifferentiated arthritis, or UA, may progress to rheumatoid arthritis, RA. Depending on the characteristics of the study cohort, the literature suggests that 7% to 65% of UA cases will evolve into RA. This event is most likely to occur in patients who display symmetrical polyarthritis and are anti-citrullinated protein antibody ACPA positive and or rheumatoid factor or RF positive. In comparison to UA, patients who meet the American College of Rheumatology or ACR criteria and the European League Against Rheumatism or ULAR criteria for RA have a greater number of joints involved and often display a symmetrical pattern of joint inflammation. This symmetrical pattern is commonly found in the joints of the hands and feet. RA patients also have a higher prevalence of radiographic erosions at the time of diagnosis and decreased functional ability as compared to UA patients. The synovium of an RA-affected joint is typified by the accumulation of characteristic inflammatory mediators. Monocytes and lymphocytes leave the circulation and migrate to the synovium. As the monocytes mature, the number of macrophages in the synovium increases. Some macrophages remain in the synovium, further recruiting inflammatory cells. Others contribute to the hyperplastic synovial lining by joining the population of macrophage-like and fibroblast-like synoviocytes. Concurrently, nearby antigen-presenting cells, or APCs, interact with and activate T cells, signaling the macrophages and macrophage-like synoviocytes to release the inflammatory mediators, tumor necrosis factor alpha or TNF-alpha, and interleukin-1 or IL-1. TNF-alpha and IL-1 signal the recruitment of additional inflammatory cells from the blood. This signaling also recruits polymorphonuclear neutrophils, or PMNs, from the circulation, which then proceed to migrate across the hyperplastic synovial lining and into the joint space. The PMNs release proteases and reactive oxygen species, or ROS, destroying nearby cartilage. Fibroblast-like synoviocytes, also stimulated by TNF-alpha and IL-1, release additional proteases such as matrix metalloprotease 1 or MMP1 and matrix metalloprotease 3 or MMP3, further mediating cartilage destruction. The fibroblast-like synoviocytes may also release receptor activator for nuclear factor kappa B ligand or RANKL leading to the activation of nearby osteoclasts, which target and enzymatically destroy the bone.